Chapter 2, BLS for Adults. Welcome to the One Rescuer BLS CPR for Adults. In this video, we will discuss the One Rescuer BLS process and CPR steps. The general adult BLS process is to ensure safety of the scene, assess the injured or ill individual, activate EMS by calling 911, perform CPR, and defibrillate. Now let's review the CPR steps. Start CPR by checking for the carotid pulse on the side of the neck. Feel for the pulse for no more than 10 seconds. If you are not sure that you feel a pulse, then begin CPR with a cycle of 30 chest compressions and two breaths. Next, place the heel of one hand on the lower half of the sternum in the middle of the chest. Then, put your other hand on top of the first hand. Then. Straighten your arms and press straight down. Remember that compression should be at least 2 inches into the chest, but no more than 2.4 inches at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions a minute. Make sure that between each compression, you completely stop pressing on the chest and allow the chest wall to retain to its natural position. Do not lean or rest on the chest between compressions. That can keep the heart from refilling blood between each compression. Stop after 30 compressions. Open the airway by using the head tilt chin lift maneuver. Put your hand on their forehead and tilt the head back. Then, use your index and middle fingers on the lower jaw to lift up the jaw. Do not do the head tilt chin lift maneuver if you think the individual may have a neck injury. In this case, use the jaw thrust maneuver. Use your index and middle fingers to lift up on both sides of the lower jaw. Next, give a breath while watching their chest rise up. Repeat while giving the second breath. These breaths should be delivered for one second each. Resume chest compressions. This concludes our lesson on One Rescuer BLS and CPR for adults. Next, we will review Two Rescuer BLS and CPR for adults.